What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu walkthrough. Okay, so, in our last episode, we finally got to Saffron City, got to check the sights, got to get ourselves a uh, good old Hitmonlee from the, what was it, the Karate Master, and, uh, well, now we're gonna start off with this. In our last episode, we came here, and this person will actually trade you in a Lolan uh, Raichu for a Cantonian Raichu. Off screen, I did capture myself a Pikachu and evolved it into a Raichu, so there we go. We're gonna get this right here. We're gonna offer that guy for a trade, and yes. Have you decided already? Let's trade! Of course, I am not going to trade the two other Pikachus that I got with damn near perfect stats because, uh-uh, that's not what I'm trying to do here. So, let's go ahead and get this trade going. Level 3 for a level 30. Look at that Pokemon. Look at this Pokemon right here. This Raichu right here is a little bit different from the regular Raichus that you have. As you can see, it is both an Electric and Psychic type Pokemon. And, uh, well, it can learn psychic, uh, psychic type Attack. It can learn Psychic as a very good move. Very good uh, addition to your team if you guys want it. Uh, let's see. Let me, uh, oh, actually, let me go ahead and check, check it out right here. It's both male and... Again, psychic type Pokemon. Look at this guy. Three feet, sixty-four or sixty-five pounds. We got it on the, we got it as a link trade and all that stuff. But take a look at its uh, its stats right here. It has good stats. Of course, I think uh, well, I don't know if I don't know if it actually takes a, it takes a like it takes after the the right that we traded because it wasn't damn near good stats. It was kind of like this. But yes, if you guys want an Alolan Raichu, here it is. It can learn both Psychic and Electric type moves. A very good combination. Yeah. Okay, so back to business right here. We're going to be going straight to the uh, Silphco. And we're going to be adding all our good Pokemon into this one right here. Because, uh, yeah, there's a, a lot that we need to do. If you guys don't remember, in our last episode, we used uh, Dubasaur and uh, Pidgeot in our adventure. Of course, Budkiss was our ride Pokemon right here. And, well, before we battle Team Rocket and all that stuff, I think we need to go buy some healing items because it's going to be an adventure in there. Like I said, guys, we're going to do the whole Silphco in this whole thing right here. And it really does feel, it really feels awkward just running. We could have been, you know, riding on our Arcanine right here. So, here we are, the uh, Pokemart. See what we can buy since we defeated Koga. Let's see. How can I help you? Let's see. I think we should buy some more Hyper Potions because... Oh, wow. That's a little too much. Let's go with the Super Potions. Here we go. 31 Super Potions. What else? Let's go for... A few full heals right here. And... Let's go for... Uh, wow. Seriously? Alright, four revives. It's not like we're going to need all the revives. We're just making sure that, you know, we're keeping our Pokemon covered right here. Uh, the majority of our money that we've used throughout this game, yeah, we used it for a whole bunch of Pokeballs. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's another fun thing right there. And, well, here we are, guys. In our last episode, you guys may have remembered that Jesse and James pushed this guy over. It was hilarious. Okay, here we are in the Silco, and the receptionist is, you there! Huh? Oh, damn. What's going on there? I have to tell you that our office is a bit, uh, a dis or th is a bit of disaster right now. A real disaster! This is no place for kids, not when there are so many dangerous people around. Aww. Don't you, uh, don't you such, or don't be such a stink in the mud. You don't even uh, let us have a little look around. Oh, damn. Would you look at that? It's Trace and Blue. Oh, you, you're, you're Blue. The Blue. Oh, he's doing a super pose. Draven, I've been looking for you. What are you doing in a place like this? Uh, I heard there was a takeover. No surprise. Those Team Rocket goons are crew causing trouble all over the place. You and me are on the same wavelength, Trace. We can't keep letting Team Rocket do whatever they please. That's right. Come on, it's time for, uh, it's time we did a little strategy planning. So, in short, the plan is this. Draven is going to drive Team Rocket out of Silphco, just like we, he planned. 
but it'd be crazy to try something like that alone. So Trace is going to with them. Right. While you pipsqueets do that, I'm going to go do a loop around in Kanto, squashing out Team Rocket wherever I can find them. One of us is sure to find out where their boss is hiding. And while I'm in at it, I'll swing by the Pokemon League and tell the bigwids that they're what's going on. Awesome! Do you think the Elite Four might uh, come and help us? Maybe. So that's the battle plan, guys. Time to split up and uh, put it into action. <laughs> if only it were that simple. Fact is, there's one more thing we've got to do here first. Draven, Trace. If you want me to leave this place up to you two, newbies, uh, then prove that you're up to the task. What? I don't care who goes first. Show me what you got. Okay, so I guess we're gonna have to battle. Uh, we're gonna have to battle this guy right here. So let's go ahead and. <laughs> oh wow! Completely forgot about Dubasaur. Hold on. Hold on, just a sec. Yeah, even the best Pokemon trainers, especially walkthrough artists, uh, make mistakes. So let's go ahead and switch out Dubasaur right here. And, well, let's see, let's see, let's see. What kind of Pokemon would he be using? Let's see. Let's go with... You know what? Let's, let's, uh, let's surprise him. Let's go with Mew de Uno. I'm challenging you first. So, you're my first challenger, huh, Draven? Yes. That's what I'd like to hear. Here I go. Alrighty, so here we go guys, our very first battle. Not so much very first battle against Trainer Blue. And look at that, he's coming out with an Executor. Okay, alright. So let's go Mew de Uno, surprise this guy. Still a Psychic type Pokemon, let's go for a Dark, uh, dark Pulse right here. Oh uh, yes, look at that, Dark Pulse nearly takes this guy out and... Well, he couldn't move. Let's do this again. Dark Pulse again. Oh, yes. Look at that. Executor getting its butt kicked right now. Yeah, buddy. Okay. And let's see. What else are you coming out with? He's coming out with a Charizard. Okay. I got a good Pokemon for you. Let's go Leonardo. DiCaprio. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. So, let's go. Leonardo versus Charizard. I do have a Charizard, but unfortunately can't use him right now, so let's go with the Surf Attack right here. While wow, this guy comes with the Air Slash Attack, and wow, that right there is a uh, very effective move because we couldn't move, and here he comes again with another Air Slash. Come on. Come on, man. Let us hit. Uh, you suck. Oh my god, this is a spam right here. Or not a spam, but like a glitch. Uh, god damn you. Come on! Uh, you suck, man. Okay, here we go. Revenge now. That's right, revenge served wet. Suck it, Charizard. Okay. Look at that, okay. And Smasher grows to level 51. And there he goes. <laughs> He's like exactly what I expect from a town, town trainer. That's a lie. Okay, so I'm a little pissed that he did that. Oh, man, so you really are ready for Team Rocket. I feel pretty good about leaving this place in your hands. Then your next trace come at me. I'm just getting warmed up. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, watching your battle makes me nervous. Did you see the Pokemon eyes? They blew me away. But I'm not backing down. Draven, you go on ahead. I'll be right behind you. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to kick your ass. <laughs> oh, man. I wish I could see that. But, yeah, that that's not going to happen. So, let's go straight upstairs and uh, start battling some trainers right here. Uh, let's see. How about let's go with Dragonair because we kind of need to evolve this guy already. And we're going to start off with this guy right here. Hey, kid. What are you doing when wandering around here? So that's the first of many Team Rocket uh, logos right there, guys. And yes, he's going to come out with his Raticade. Oh, crud. You're not so scary, man. You are not so scary. So here we go. Dragonair versus Raticade. And yes, my Pokemon are way overleveled, so we're just going to be using Thunderbolts. And this guy using Circle Punches all the way. Alrighty. And... Well, 
Let's go with a Dragon Rage right here just to defeat this guy. Yeah, buddy. Radicade has been defeated. Okay, alrighty, look at that. And the Team Rocket Grunt has been defeated right there. Anywho, this is gonna be a long episode, guys. It really is. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how many evolutions we're gonna be seeing right here. We're gonna definitely get a lot of items. So that's exactly what we need to do: is just grab so many items, like super potions and whatnot. And in the meantime, I'm just gonna be talking to you guys about uh, things going on in life, you know, that kind of stuff, battling everybody. And this guy's saying no kids are allowed. So yeah, in our last episode, I mentioned something about, uh, or I did a little reference to Cobra Kai, the, uh, the series that's currently going on. And it, what's hilarious is that while I was at work, I was, uh, I was told about this so many friggin' times. Like, hey, have you watched Cobra Kai? Have you watched Cobra Kai? Oh my god, it's so exciting. And the funny thing is that I, I tell them every single time, yeah, I've watched it about a year ago. Which is the truth, because the first two, or the last season, which was season two, was done last se last year. Completely watched it on YouTube Red. I think that's what it is. And right now I'm very, very frustrated that, you know, this whole COVID-19 thing uh, has stopped. Well, it, doesn't, it didn't necessarily stop, but just postponed the whole, uh, the whole season three premiere, which, again, really pissed me off, because... Kind of wanted to see what happens in Season 3. Got me so excited. It really did, guys. I've been waiting for a long, long time for this. But it turns out I'm going to have to wait another year for this one. And, uh, yeah, I told my coworkers, I was like, yeah, I watched it last year. Watch the ending, and you'll see why I am completely mad at the producers for postponing it until 2021. And knowing those guys, they're probably going to postpone it until, like, December of next year, which is bullcrap. So if you guys, uh, if you're, if the creators of Cobra Kai are watching this episode right here, if you guys are a fan of me, I'm letting you know right now, I'm a little pissed off that you guys postponed this whole thing till next year. Uploaded right now, or better yet, uploaded on December. We kind of need a Christmas present. We kind of need to see what happens at the uh, in season three. I'm very excited for that. Seriously. Anywho, let's move our Pokemon. Let's go ahead and start using Sand Slash right here. And this guy's coming. It's off limits here. Go home. Hmm. Off limits. Go home. These are the normal things that I hear every single time. Alrighty. Scientist Jerry wanting to battle. Coming with his Electabuzz. So here we go with my Alolan Sand Slash right here. Look at this guy. All strong. Super Saiyan Blue. And we got our dig attack just to help us out. And wow, here comes a thunderbolt, which now will it will be effective against this sand slash right here. So let's go. Come on, dig attack, finish this guy off. Yes. Oh yeah. Okay. All righty. Look at that. And well, we defeated Jerry. He is no good, and his glasses got broken for some odd reason. And as you can see, there are panels right here, but. Many of you guys already know, I don't use the panels at all. So here we found another item, which is the X attack. And well, let us continue on right here. We kind of need to see what's going on around this area. I don't know. Now, as you can see, there are gated or, you know, sealed off places. We do need the ca the card, uh, the card key to actually get around here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go in s straight to the next floor right here. And then hopefully just uh, maybe, just maybe, we find some more better items and all that stuff. And there's another panel right there. Of course, this one will take us to those items. And, well, look at that. There's another item right here. We found ourselves an X Special Defense. Second one in this whole area. And, well, we are third, or we are hungry for more battles. So let's go right ahead. If you get in our way, then you'll be ready. You'll be... Uh, then you'll be, oh wait, wait, you'll really be in our way, wow. Don't even know how to read, guys, sorry. Yes, 30 years old, still don't know how to read perfectly or anything like that. It's alright. So, here we go, another Team Rocket grunt wanting us to battle, and, uh, wow, coming out with a, uh, that guy, a Haunter. Okay, let's see. Let's try out this uh, X-Scissor right here. And, look at that. Not so strong, but still it takes a good chunk out of its HP. 
And here comes that Dark Kamehameha attack. Good god, okay. So let's go Ice Punch. Well, he throws out a Sucker Punch, and uh, yeah, okay. Here we go, Ice Punch for the win. Alrighty. So another thing that I'm liking about this game is that is the fact that all these Team Rocket members have a minimum of three Pokemon. And right now we're getting the trainers with one Pokemon so far, which is great because, you know, that's part of the main... Like, one of my main issues is that, you know, going through the Sylph Co., you have to battle just about everybody. Like, a total of, like, a hundred Pokemon. A bunch of unnecessary Pokemon, like Rattatas, a lot of Rattatas, a lot of Zubats, and it just gets friggin' annoying. Uh, let's see. There's a person right there. I wonder what he's gonna give us. I work for Sylph Co. What am I to do? Uh, I don't know. And look at that. That to me kind of sounds, or kind of looks like, uh, <laughs> that right there kind of looks like a little foreshadowing. Not just foreshadowing, but a little bit of an Easter egg of what's to come because look at that. That looks like the Tin Tower over in Johto. And if you guys uh, have heard, I'm currently recording this, okay? This is what? September 26th. They have trademarked uh, both Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver for the Nintendo Switch. So chances are that the next games on the Switch that might be Pokemon Go related might be Heart Gold and Soul Silver remakes, which you know, which would be pretty cool because I mean, we need we we kind of need a continuation of this whole game right here. I don't know about you guys, but I do like this game. It's a very fun game. So here we go, another Team Rocket grunt coming with his uh, coughing crap baskets. Oh god! All right, Sand Slash, let's do this. All right, you don't like you, or I don't like you, and you don't like me. But here we go. That's right, Sucker Punch, or not Sucker Punch, but Ice Punch does the trick right here. Again, this Sand Slash's uh, physical attack is through the roof, so that's also that's also a very very good thing about this Pokemon. And, well, there's an Electrode, and, well, let's get this dig right here. Anywho, what is another, what is another, let's see, what is another, another thing? What is another thing that I, w I would want to talk about, except for Cobra Kai? I'm already frustrated that, you know, we won't get to see Season 3 by next year, 2021. Uh, football season, yeah, football season. You guys already know I'm a coach. Not coaching right now because I live in California, and of course Newsom had to take away our football season. Thanks a lot, guy. So I'm waiting patiently for December and January so we can start our season and all that stuff. That is going to be awkward because I'm going to literally have three football seasons in one year, and that's going to be tiresome. All right, talk to this guy. Shh, can't you see I'm hiding? Yeah, you're really not hiding that well, man. Okay, so let's move on right here. And uh, let's see if we can actually get more items around this area. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Ah, oh, there's another Team Rocket member. Let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's move this guy right here. And uh, let's go with Smasher. Pretty sure Smasher can take care of these guys. Team Rocket has taken control of Silco. All righty. So, let's go right ahead and get this Team Rocket Grunt. Alrighty, and, well, look at that, Radita. See, very minimal Raditas around this area. Woo! Okay, so, let's see. What else to talk about while I'm kicking these guys' butts? Hmm. Pokemon. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just kicking butts and narrating right here. Radita defeated. Okay, alrighty. And, well, more experience points for all of us right there. And he's going to be coming out with a Grimer. So I do have the move for this guy. I'm going to go with a uh, Drill Run right here. Now, I think I've already found what I wanted to talk about. Yes. Uh, a little bit of an update for the following walkthrough. I mentioned this uh, uh, probably like a month ago. Yeah, I have had trouble trying to get Pokemon Sun and Moon online and all that stuff. I do have a wireless streaming uh, capture card for the Nintendo 3DS, and uh, well, like I said, the app, the options for the Wi-Fi are so much more different than 
in Sun and Moon that are they're so much more different in Sun and Moon than they are in Oraz and in Pokemon X and Y. So a little bit of an update. I may have found a wired capture card. Not saying for sure that I may buy it or anything. It's just those things are very rare and uh, <laughs> they cost a lot of money. So we'll see what happens, guys. We shall see, but they are very rare. And uh, again, I'm trying my best to actually. I'm actually trying my best to actually do this whole continuation of uh, of what you might call it of every every region you know in a, in a chronological order that was the basis of this whole channel when I created a new channel and then did redid it right here and uh, well like I said before if I can't find anything else if I can't find uh, if I can't find uh, the what you would call it the if I can't find a way uh, to record Sun and Moon then we're probably gonna be skipping ahead to Sword and Shield and you know it is what it is, guys. It is what it is. We're going to just have to roll with the punches right here. And, well, that was our little... That was uh, that was our little update for that one right there. So there it is. Defeated this guy. And, well, he's coming out with a Kadabra. Don't know why I'm still fighting with it with, with my Pokemon right here. So I'm going to go with Mew de Uno. And... Jesus. Okay, so now, speaking of... The Nintendo, okay, so the capture card that I'm talking about that could potentially help me with, you know, doing a, a, a the Pokemon Sun and Moon uh, walkthrough is called a Nintendo 3DS capture card, Kaiti Katsukiri. It is one of the rarest capture cards out there because there used to be a company that would install these capture cards. Yeah, they would install these capture cards in the Nintendo 3DS and they would mail them back to you. Now that that company has run out of business, so because you know the 3DS has uh holy crap. I'm going to go right there uh, eventually. But like I was saying, the capture card has gone out of business or the capture card making company has gone out of business because of the 3DS's uh this discontinuation. That's what makes these things a little rare to actually find. So Again, trying my best right here, guys. Now, let's see. If you talk to this guy, it seems Team Rocket is planning to make Sylph, co Sylph create a strong Pokemon. Ugh, but I don't want him to take this Porygon I created. I've got to get it out here somehow. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe you could give it to us? Porygon Jug Jug. Uh. Okay, so we're going to have to defeat Team Rocket. I don't know. Talk to this guy. Team Rocket is up is in an uproar over the intruder. Is that you, right? Yes, yes, it is me. It is me. And uh well here's a Team Rocket member. Don't look at me! I lost to a kid with a nasty look on his eyes. My Pokemon just don't have any, any energy left. Nasty look on his eyes? Huh. You don't say. And well, let's see what this says. It's a Pokemon report. Some Pokemon have been confirmed to evolve as they are traded. Hmm. That is true. And then let's see. The research section succeeded and created Porygon, an artificial Pokemon created by humans. Oh, okay, so it is a Pokemon created by humans then. I, I didn't even know that, or I kind of did, but I kind of didn't really realize that. Over 200 Pokemon moves have been confirmed. Well, in this game. Alright, let's battle another Pokemon trainer right here. And show Team Rocket a little respect. Yeah, whatever. Anywho, guys, like I was saying, yeah, these, these capture cards are very, very, very rare. And I do have one, but it's in Japanese. And I don't think many of you guys would want me to actually... <laughs> yeah, I don't think you guys would want me to actually do uh, another walkthrough in Japanese like I did in Pokemon. Uh, or like I did in Dra as my Draven XE 711 channel. So, yeah. Trying to find a way, guys. I literally am trying to find a way for... For me to actually get this capture card so help me out guys if you guys know somebody or if you guys have one and would like to let me borrow it for this whole thing then just uh, you know hit a brother up right here help me out man not begging it's just you know if you guys want to see that sudden moon walkthrough it might be right here help me out and well let's see Pikachu let's go with a Thunderbolt there's one Katsukiri uh, capture card that is being sold for a 
thousand six hundred dollars. That's how that's how expensive they are right now, guys. It's it's freaking mind boggling. Alrighty, and look at that. We just defeated this chick right here, and wow, there's one being sold for eight hundred bucks. I am not made of money, guys. <laughs> Believe it or not, I am not made of money. And well, let's see. Oh, damn it! I tran oh okay never mind I'm gonna grab this item right here and then transport all the way back here we have three smart candies alrighty let's go back okay and let's see let's see let's see alright so we defeated everybody right here now let's go straight for this guy see what he has to say you oh damn <laughs> What is it, Mr. Archer? You know that kid? Oh, damn. Huh? Draven? You know that old guy? Uh-oh. You are a fool. Get enough to get in our way, that is. What a brave little bo oh, What brave little boys. Wait, aren't they the ones who are getting in our way? Not even. Mr. Archer's saying that you're in his way, all right? You want to go home in tears or what? Calm yourself. I'll teach these children a good lesson. Alrighty, so we're gonna be uh, again battling, and it's a double battle. Okay, so <laughs> electrode and muck. Okay, so Smasher and Cubone. Okay, so turns out this guy has Cubone. Okay, so that's cool. Let's go with a drill run and finish this guy off right here. Try not to copy me, man. And let's see what this guy has. And good god, okay. Here we go with the protect. It knows it's being target. And uh, wow. Okay. See what the strategy is. It doesn't hit Muck, but it will hit the both of us. Doesn't hurt us. Electrode screw himself deeply. And well, Mew de Uno grows a little 53, which is good. And here comes the drill run. It does not work. Bone Morang doesn't work. Man. Oh, so this guy's trying to, he's trying to self-destruct every single one of his Pokemon. Don't you think that's a dick move right there? I think it is. And, well, let's see what happens. Come on. Do it. Oh, it's a protect attack. And here comes a drill run. Finally. There we go. Muck has been defeated. That's right. This is how you do it, Trace. This is how you win Pokemon battles. Alrighty, and here comes that focus energy. This little Cubone right here is getting ready to kick some ass. And here comes Eradicate. Alright, Eradicate. I see you looking at us. You don't like me, and I don't like you, but guess what? I am going to go with not that attack. I'm going to go with Double Kick and go to the Eradicate. So I'm going to beat the lesser of two evils right here. And here comes this Sucker Punch right here. So let's go Double Kick. Oh, yes. Double Kick is doing its thing right here. And, well, here comes a Flamethrower. And, oh yeah, we're getting hit. And here comes a Bone Ring. It is super effective against this Weezing, since it can actually hit this Pokemon. And, well, let's go right ahead and do a bit of a Fire Punch right here, since it likes to throw fire with fire. Let's go. Super Kamehameha Fire Punch right here. Yeah, buddy. Okay, and, uh, wow, another flamethrower. Oh, damn. Cubone is getting his butt kicked, and here comes that attack. Don't know what that was. So let's go again. One more Fire Punch right here. Come on. Come on. Help me out, man. Do me a favor and just do this. Yeah, buddy. Wheezing defeated. Alrighty, okay, look at that. And Dragoner finally grows to level 53, and... Well, he's coming out with a Golbat. I think we could beat him. So let's go with another Fire Punch. Alrighty, two on one against Archer right here. Look at that. <laughs> oh damn, here comes a an Air Slash, and there goes Cubone. Well, that kind of sucks. And, well, he does have his Jolteon. Did not, well, huh. Well, he did evolve his Pokemon right here. Now, I got a quick question, okay? Quick question. For real, real question right here. Comment down below, guys. 
When playing Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, can you evolve your Eevee? I know this is a stupid question to ask. I can always go on Google, but, you know, it'd be nice to have somebody comment down here. So, comment down below. Can you do it? I don't know. God, again. What? That's right. You have been defeated by this muscular god of a man. So it wasn't a stroke of luck that let you beat me the last time. I understand now. We have to be more careful about you two. Out of the way. <laughs> Ow! Yeah, you're not going to do anything, man. Just just let it go. Hey, look! That grunt dropped something. And we got ourselves the card key. Okay. So, now we can go through these gates right here and... Well, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to beat everybody and we... Our Pokemon are automatically healed after that battle. So, let's go back to Leonardo right here. And... Uh, Let's move on right here, and do this. I heard a kid was wandering around. You heard it correctly, homeboy. Okay, so I'm stretching, I'm getting ready, and here comes a Team Rocket Grunt. He's coming with his Ekans, and here comes a Leonardo. Oh yeah, let's go Leonardo. Let's do this. Let's go with a Scald Attack right here. Yeah, buddy, look at this. Look at that. Say goodbye to Ekans. Now, I am thinking of giving Dig to, Leo uh, to Leonardo right here because it needs a different Pokemon, or it needs a different attack. Don't feel, don't necessarily feel comfortable with just using Surf and, and, and Scald, so I, I think I should take one away. Probably thinking out loud right here, but it might just happen after this. So, here we go. Hypno, looking all mean and everything. So, here we go with uh, Dark Pulse. And look at that, Dark Poles uh, nearly defeats his Hypno. And here comes a Meditate attack. Okay. Alright. So, let's go right ahead and do another Dark Pulse for the win. Yeah, buddy, Hypno. You have been defeated. Okay, alrighty. Okay, so Team Rocket Grunt has been defeated. I'm feeling good about that. Okay, so, hold on. Whew! Nearly, nearly got on that one. So, let's see. We've already defeated everybody, and uh, look at that. It's, uh, again, a little foreshadowing. Or a little Easter egg of things to come right here. Look at that. And we've already been there, so we don't, we've already defeated most of the people here. What I'm trying to do is defeat the people outside of the gates and then get the items. I only used one panel, and yeah. It gave us, uh, gave us an item, and I did not want to go there. And that takes us back, not forward. So, again, moving back. And, let's see. I don't know what floor we're in. Let's see. We're going to go to this sign. Okay, the fifth floor. I don't remember how many floors there are. Maybe six? Seven? I don't know. Okay, so let's go ahead and start beating everybody. Ah, here we go. An item. Found ourselves a special X attack right here. And talk to this guy. Team Rocket came and took over the building. You don't say. And then this girl. Team Rocket is trying to conquer the world with Pokemon. Hmm. They're stating the obvious. They must have targeted Silco for our Pokemon products. Hmm. Again, they are just stating the obvious. I am uh, switching up Pokemon right here because uh, why not? Actually, uh, let's see. Hmm. Oh yeah, Dragonair. Okay. Let's go ahead and use Dragonair right here and start beating up on more Pokemon trainers. Such as this lad. I am one of the four Rocket Sisters. <laughs> so they're being inclusive now. Bringing the Rocket Sisters, which is good. It's, it's okay. It's okay. It's good. And, well, let's see. Alrighty. Alrighty, so... Let's go right ahead and start with this battle right here. Let's go, Dragon Rage. And here we go. Dragon Rage does a good does good with that. And well, let's see. Let's go ahead and with another outrage right here. And this guy is a Meowth. Meowth and Dine. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty, and, uh, well, let's see, he's gonna be coming out with Eradicate, she's gonna be coming out with Eradicate, so, uh, let's go with, uh, Leonardo. Yes, it does have Brick Break, 
kind of want to, you know, get it some more levels. Kind of give it just a little bit more right here. Alrighty. So, let's see what happens right here. Flexing my muscles. I'm looking at you. And here we go with the Brick Break. Get it! And say goodbye to Raticate. Alrighty. Okay. There we go. And the Grunt defeated. Okay. All right, so that's one sister. Um, okay, let's see what happened. Let's, let's see what's happening here. Oh dear, oh dear, help me please! Huh. That man next to me? He's such a coward. Oh, it's these two people. Uh, there's an item nearby. Okay, so it must be right here, right? There we are. Okay, so we found a bottle of fresh water. Obviously, it's going to be right here. Okay, so that right there is done, and I'm going to sneak by this guy, grab this super potion. Feel good about that. And grab this guy. That rotten president serves him right for transforming a star employee like me off the bo boondocks. That's why Team Rocket came after us. I'm sure of it. Oh, damn. <laughs> he is a bitter. He is a bitter man. So let's go right ahead and get on this battle against Taylor. And he's coming out with a uh, Magnemite the first time so we're going with Dragonair okay let's do this I've always wanted Dragonair again some of you guys are asking why Dragonair it's very simple guys Dragonair is a pretty cool Pokemon to me I always wanted a dragon type Pokemon in the first generation which is dragon with, with you know Dragonite and all that stuff but you know since I wanted to change it up with my teams and whatnot yeah kind of you know, wanted to do that. And look at that. Defeated him with two Dragonite or Dragon Rages. So, we're going to be switching up our Pokemon right here. And who has the Fire Punch? This guy, I think. Yes, Fire Punch. I know that his stats are not the best. I think this is the Dragonair that I got from a Pokemon Go. I could be wrong. And so, here we go. Another Magnemite. Let's get this. Let's go with the Fire Punch. See what ends up happening. Fire Punch does its trick. Say goodbye to Magnemite. Alrighty, okay, alright. And he's about to send out Magmar. So let's go right back to Leonardo right here. Okay, Leonardo, you can do this. You're, you're, you're a pretty strong Pokemon, right? I think. So here we go, M Leonardo. And here's that Magmar that we were not fearing. Of course, it does have a butt for a for a head, so here we go. Surf attack. Surf and turf. Does its thing. And say goodbye to Magmar. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Defeated that Magmar, and look at that. Leonardo grows to level 51. That's good. That's very, very good. If it can only get its speed up just a little bit. And Smasher grows to level 51 as well, so. That's right. We're kicking butt right here, guys. Lots of butts. And, well, let's see. We got another Pokemon trainer right here. All right, bring it. You dare betray Team Rocket? Uh, there's nothing to betray if we haven't even joined. I'm just saying. So, here we go. Getting challenged by Team Rocket Grunt. And he's coming out with his Raticade. Eh, well, you know, whatever. All right. Maximum power. Or effort. Okay, so, let's see. Is there anything else I want to talk about? Um... Oh, yeah! I do remember a little something. Okay, so now... I am coming up with a... Well, I'm, I'm not thinking of taking a break, like a full month's break like I used to do it. No. I am seeing... I am seeing the benefits of, you know, uploading daily. It's been helping my subscriber account. Uh, as of right now... Wow. Me saying that again, we are close to something. As of right now, we have 7,624 uh, subscribers, guys. And, <laughs> yeah, 7,624 7, uh, subscribers, guys. We are close to 8,000 subscribers, and we're going to probably reach it by this year, year again. Two milestones in one year, and this is all thanks to the daily uploads that I've been doing because... Well, no thanks to COVID-19 and all that stuff. And, uh, you know, 
I I was thinking, or I was kind of, uh, you know, planning, or I am kind of planning a little something uh, once I'm done with Pokemon X, because it, it's almost done. I've recorded 40 episodes, um, and it, it is not very hard after you defeat, uh, what was it? Team Flare and all that stuff. Uh-oh, I found a little troublemaker! Yeah, like I said, guys, it, it's not that hard after you defeat Team Flare and all that stuff. Uh, what I was thinking was, uh, you know, I may or may not, well, I don't know, I'm, like, it's kind of a feeling right now. Not set in stone, but I will let you guys know more uh, as I plan this whole thing right here. Um, so, I was thinking of probably taking a good, uh, taking a small break from, you know, regular gameplay, such as, you know, uh, you know, main gameplay of the main adventures and all that stuff. And that is because of this year alone I've managed to record so many episodes upload so many walkthroughs and get done with those walkthroughs that I have kind of forgotten to do the other stuff within those walkthroughs such as events capturing other legendary Pokemon different secrets uh, shoot what else uh, let's see let's see uh, different kinds of cheats and all that stuff hell I even mentioned that I was gonna do the Pokemon uh, what was it called? Uh, the Frontier? Battle Frontier? Yeah, that's not going to happen. But I was thinking of doing that. Like, I was thinking of doing those things that I mentioned before, you know, off screen so I can post them up in different playlists. So that might be the, the next adventure that I might be doing. Now, again, not all set in stone, but I'll let you guys know more eventually. Let's see. You! It's really dangerous here! You came to save me? You can't! Yeah, you want to bet? The president is still under the boardroom at the eleventh floor. I'm so worried. I hope he's safe. Holy crap! This is just the sixth floor. Hold on, hold on. Ah, oh, crap, baskets. It's the seventh floor. Never mind. Okay, so yeah, we still got a <laughs> we still got a ways to go, and we still got a lot of Pokemon, a lot of uh, a lot of these guys to beat. So yeah, we're gonna have to switch out our Pokemon right here. So let's go with Sand Slash. Anywho, like I was saying, guys, yes, a lot of the stuff that I haven't completed, such as events and all that stuff, yeah, I, I kind of want to take care of that. And the only way I can do that is if I'm done with the main gameplay of Pokemon X. So that's exactly what might happen. And, uh, let's see. Kind of excited because it, it, it will... It will have, like, a, a completion in most of the walkthroughs right here. A lot of you guys keep on saying that, Draven, you did not finish the walkthroughs in, its all, in all its completion. You didn't do it just like you did in Draven XE711. Well, the, re the main reason uh, why I didn't... Well, the main reason for that is because... Well, I said main gameplay. All stuff in, main, in the main gameplay. That's what it was. I never said anything about event Pokemon, so... Again, sorry if like you know, I kind of feel like I'm I lied about that stuff. Kind of really didn't lie about it. I just kind of wanted to do the next walkthrough and all that stuff. But it's gonna get done, guys. Trust me, it will get done once Pokemon X is done. Yeah. And again, it's not going to be that hard. I at the rate that I'm going, it, more than likely we will be seeing Pokemon Sword and Shield by the end of the year or close to the end of the year. I mean, shoot, it, it's only September. As I'm recording this, next week will be the start of October. So by that time, we'll already have like three more months into this uh, into this dreadful year. God, please let this be done. Seriously. And look at that. We got ourselves another PP up, which is good. And Trace has somehow made it all the way up there. And, well... We're just going to be moving on a little bit further. This game, or this this episode might last an hour right here, so... Yeah, let's see. Rocket Sister's right there. Let's go ahead and battle her. I'm one of the four Rocket Sisters! Again, they're trying to be inclusive, which is good. It's great. You know, Rocket Sisters, Rocket Brothers, and all that crud. Couldn't really put a lot of, uh, a lot of females as trainers right here, but that's great. That is very, very good. So let's go right ahead and use Sand Slash right here. Okay, alrighty. Let's do this. Let's go with a dig attack. See how that works. Let's see, is there any other games out there that I kind of want to do? Oh yeah, Pokemon Pokemon Coliseum. Now that's another game that I want to play, which I do have. 
And I kind of want to, I kind of actually want to showcase here. You know, there's a little bit of an issue with that game. That is that with this capture card that I have right now, it is very, very hard for the voice recording to come in and all that stuff. So more than likely that game might be a post-com kind of a game. Kind of like my Pokemon Platinum. So I expect to see that sometime soon whenever I get to it. I mean, the first day I got it, I actually played up... I played it until I got to that battle against that guy with the big ol' afro, but then after that I stopped playing it because, well, I got my Nintendo Switch. <laughs> so, yeah. That's all the plans right there. I'm all scatterbrained and stuff, guys. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Again, we're battling every trainer right here, grabbing every item, and we're grabbing this, the X attack, which is good, and let's see, talk to this guy. Come on, talk to me. Why won't you talk to me? Sylph has been taken over! I guess it's the end for us! Not really. It's just, uh, well, it, you guys need better security and all that stuff. And, well, let's see. There's nothing right there. And, seriously, why does that happen? That's right. <laughs> okay, so somebody notices us right here. And, this guy's like, this is as far as you'll go! Okay, alrighty. Okay, so let's go ahead and take on another Rocket Grunt. And yes, he is coming out with a Ghastly right here. Not so difficult. Let's see, is there something else? Oh yeah! So, I have been getting, you know, uh, comments right here on my channel, or on the walkthrough right here for Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. Can't remember the name of the YouTuber, but I do remember the specific question. How do you get this game onto Android? Now, here's something about that. Well, two things. One, I didn't know that you can actually get Pokemon games on the Android. I don't have an Android. If you're talking about the phone Android, uh, I got Apple. Didn't know that. And secondly, this is not on an Android. This is on the Nintendo Switch. How I'm recording this is through the uh, capture card called Hop Sentry. HD 1080p video capture card. You can find it on uh, Amazon. You can find it on eBay. It costs 80 bucks, maybe 100, and it's it's a good quality capture card for all of this right here. So, if to answer your question, I'm using a capture card. I'm not using Android and all that stuff. And I don't think there's a. I guess I, I don't think there's an emulator for Nintendo Switch yet. I don't think so. Comment down below if that's not true. And well, let's see. Nope, there's nothing right here. And, well, let's move on. Let's go ahead and uh, start battling some more Pokemon right here. Look at that. Okay, she's looking all mean. What floor are we in? The eighth floor. Good God! Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, we're definitely getting an exercise right here. And, well, we're going to go this side right here and find maybe a trainer or two. Oh, yeah, we're finding that guy. And here we found three Ultra Balls. And first, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's move to Mew de Uno. I haven't used Pikachu yet because, yeah, I just mopped the floor with everybody. Your Pokemon have weak points. I can nail them. You want to bet? Okay, so let's go right ahead and start battling a Scientist Ed. And he is coming out with the Weezing. So, yeah, I kind of knew he was going to come out with that. Alrighty, Mew Do you now. You're looking all cute and fluffy, but guess what? You got psychic attack. And of course, protect. How did I not see that? Not. Okay. So another protect. Let's go with the psychic attack. And look at that. The strength on that just mmm. Yes. Alrighty. Alrighty, look at that. And, well, let's see. He's coming out with an Electrode. I'm going to switch out. Let's go straight for Smasher right here. Untouched so far. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's see what this guy can do. Or oh, this chick. It's a chick. Come on. I'm not assuming genders and all that stuff. <laughs> all right. Let's see. Uh, drill run. Let's go. It was going to use Protect, but guess what? Did it work? <laughs> Eat it. Alrighty. Okay. 
Look at that. And he's going to come out with an Electabuzz. So I'm just going to stay with uh, Smasher right here. Now, let's see. Is there anything else I kind of wanted to talk about? Not really. Not really. I just, uh, I, get, I, I get that this game is going to, well, this episode right here is going to last a very, 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 very long time. So I kind of need to make points, need to talk about stuff that you guys have been asking questions on. Sand Slash kicking ass. Ed has been destroyed. Yes. Yes, sir. Okay, so let's see. Let's grab this. We found ourselves another three great balls right there. And I, I'm assuming that's another Team Rocket sister, so. Eh, well, you know. And three Pokeballs. Look at that. We need those Pokeballs. Now, I haven't been capturing anything as, like. Actually, yeah, like I've been mostly uploading and all that stuff for you guys. I haven't been capturing a lot of Pokemon yet, guys, because, uh. Well, I've been pretty busy. Uh, let's see, it is the 26th, so the last three days I have not uploaded anything except for today, the 26th. And, again, very, very busy, guys. I am one of the four Rocket Sisters. I am the oldest. Okay, alrighty. Bring it, sister. And, well, let's go with this one right here. Let's go with, uh... Let's go with this one right here. Okay, so... Let's see. What else do I have to talk about? Nothing else. Just me kicking ass. Look at that. Persian defeated. Yeah, buddy! Okay, alrighty. And let's see. Team Rocket Grunt has been defeated easily. Man, these Team Rocket Grunt sisters are... Goddamn beautiful. Okay, so... Now, we could go heal our Pokemon right now, but that won't happen until we get to the, well, the 11th floor. Good God, there's so many floors up here. Okay, so let's see. Uh, here we have another guy. Enough of your silly games! Well, he said enough of my silly games. Let's go ahead and just, uh, let's go ahead and just, uh, do that. So here we go. Travis wants to fight. And here he comes out with a Grimer. So let's go with Leonardo right here, and, well, let's see. I think we can do Surf. Surf and Bird, right here. Bird, 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 bird. Bird is the word. Look at that. Grimer has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. And, well, let's see. Is he having, oh, he has a Muck right there, so let's go ahead and switch out Pokemon. Let's go with Smasher. And, bam. Anywho, let's see. I upload maybe five episodes of this walkthrough a week. So, I'm assuming that the, it will have already come out. So, I'm just going to say it right here. Uh, how have you guys been have been enjoying my Pokemon Snap walkthrough? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just, you know, predicting the future because... Come October 1st, yes, I will be uploading... Or... You know, when this, whenever this walkthrough episode comes out, yeah, Pokemon Snap will, my Pokemon Snap walkthrough will have already been up, and I'm assuming it will be like maybe two episodes. I don't even know. <laughs> Let's talk to her. What? I'm scared. You are scared. Okay. All right, we got a lot of Pokeballs in there. Let's go ahead and move our Pokemon again. Now, screw it. Let's go with Sparky. Let's go. Welcome to the tenth floor. So you're uh, so good of you to join me. Oh damn, this guy's like <laughs> a final boss and everything. All right, another Team Rocket grunt coming out with his Voltorb. So I may have picked the wrong Pokemon for this this job right here. But you know, Pikachu has been like it's it, it feels like it's been left out. So let's go with a double kick. It's strong. Look at that. Super kicks of doom. Oh yeah, buddy. Two times. And uh, coming out with a Raticade. No problem for this Pikachu, so let's go right ahead and uh, take on this Raticade right again. A double kick. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> it only takes one kick. Oh damn. Okay, alrighty. And Team Rocket Grunt has been stunned. Okay, so this place right here, we can actually grab some items. Hopefully there are no electrodes and stuff. So here we have one Max Revive, which is great. Hopefully there's a, a rare candy here. 
And look at that, rare candy. That's cool. Alrighty. And this one right here. Look at that. We got ourselves a TM 30, 37 flamethrower. The, a move that we desperately need. And I will be teaching this to Dragonair. And, well, let's see. We're going to be going up to the 11th floor now. I may have said we're going to do this whole thing in its completion. Yeah, I'm kind of think rethinking that. Because, uh... Because, uh... Going through this whole place again is going to be another adventure. Halt! State your purpose of being here! Kick ass, take names. That's right. Bring it! Here we go. Team Rocket Grunt wants the battle, and he is coming with his drowsy. Not nose Pokemon, and uh, look at that. I got myself Pikachu. I am not worried. So let's go. Let's get this Thunderbolt. Oh, yes. Thunderbolt. For the win. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm doing my dance. Doing my dance, and... He's about to come out with a Zubat, so I'm just going to stay put. Okay. All right, Zubat. I don't like you. You don't like me. But guess what? Here's a Thunderbolt for all your troubles. And look at that. Zubat defeated. And <laughs> Pikachu showing us some good love right there. That's good. That's very, very good. And one more Pokemon, and that happens to be his Golbat. So let's go ahead and beat this guy. Let's do this. Thunderbolt for the win. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Golbat, no more. Okay, alrighty. Okay. Look at that. And Team Rocket Grunt has been demolished. Okay, alrighty. So, let's see. Is there anything else right here? Could be wrong. No, there is an item right there. Look at that. We found ourselves a Max Elixir. Okay, so we've defeated every Team Rocket member, and I did say that I was going to complete this all in... Do this all in one episode, but like I said, it's... We still have to go through the gates to get the items to battle the other trainers. So, we're back down here. Stay tuned, guys. Part 2 is coming up. We will continue our adventure right here. Yeah, we're going to be kicking ass right now. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.